Kia ora Cordia ho, hello mai, welcome to today's 5 Minute Makerspace. We're making an optical illusion spinning toy today. Gonna need some paper, some cardboard, something to cut with, some string, and some coloured markers. A little bit of glue, and we're away. Let's take a closer look. Make a start by drawing two circles on some white paper. I'm using a protractor for this one and that will become evident as to why I'm doing that. But you can use some plates or anything that's circular to trace around. And yours doesn't have to be the same size that mine is going to be either. So we'll just make sure we've got enough room here. Here we go. To this one. And another one to the side of that. And it's only just going to fit in, but that's all we need. Now I'm going to do another circle inside my circle. I'm going to make it such that the outer circle is about one and a half centimetres wide. I'm going to do the same to this one as, in fact, I'm going to make this one a little bit different size. Because there are two sides to our spinning toy. And I'm going to put another circle inside of this one. Now I'm going to take a ruler and I'm going to divide up parts of this particular circle here. And I'm going to create some other segments here. Natural fact, I'm going to extend these through the centre to the other side. And this is going to be the segment that we're going to focus on anyway. For this particular one, I might just divide this one in quarters and then through the centre. Into eight segments in total. Now let's do some colouring in. And working on our colour theory, I'm going to make alternate segments of red and yellow. And I'm going to be hopeful that when we spin our wheel, it will create an orange. Decide what colours you would like to make. And if you wanted to make a colour that is made by combining two other colours, that is how you want to colour them in. For example, blue and yellow makes green. Now we need to cut them out. And 
and then place one of them onto our piece of card. Now cut that piece out. other piece and place it on the other side. Turn it back over and then place some holes near the middle. These are going to need to be large enough for your pieces of string to feed through. Your piece of string should be about 40 to 45 centimetres long. Feed it through and make a knot at one end. We'll pan out the camera again and let, then see our colour wheel at work. Can you see the colours? I really hope you've enjoyed making that optical illusion today, making the spinning wheel. It takes a little bit of a go to get the spin to happen, but once it starts to go accordion style, it's a lot of fun. I hope you can film it as well so that you can also see the results on the other side. Thanks for joining me. Kakite.